Hello everyone, I'm Yvonne A. Jones, Prosperity Coach and Mentor to Vibrant Women 50 and Wiser. Right now I'm in the Treasure Coast of Florida. I live between Florida and Jamaica. And I really wanted to take you to the back of my home because I love being outdoors and I wanted to show that to you. But for some reason my Wi-Fi is telling me that it can't um, transmit from there. So today Hi Gladys, thanks for joining. Today I wanted to talk with you about personal branding, branding for entrepreneurs. And the reason I selected that topic is because almost every day I'm talking with persons who are budding entrepreneurs or they have been in business for a while and they are finding, they're sharing with me that branding is one of the biggest challenges they have. And when I ask them what what does branding mean to them, they're telling me that they need to have their business cards, they need to have a fancy website, marketing materials, and this kind of thing. And that's fine. That is branding, business branding and corporate branding, and there is a place for that. But is that the first thing that is required? Actually, personal branding is more important and the reason for that is, hi Jan, thanks for being here. Uh, the reason for personal branding being so much more important because as Bob Berg said, many of you may have read the book Endless Referrals. And in that book, Bob said, made the point that all things being equal, people do business with people they know, like and trust. And so we as entrepreneurs, we are marketing ourselves. It's not our business cards, it's not our web, fancy website, it's not our marketing materials, it's ourselves. So we have to package ourselves in a way that people can relate to us and want to do business with us. So think of branding, personal branding as you know you walk down the aisles of the supermarket and you, the brands that you're accustomed to using, you can recognize them, you know exactly what they look like, what their packaging is like. So basically, personal branding is the perception that others have of you. Now, what is that perception? It's affected by a number of different things. It could be how we appear on social media, what or and let's get back, step back to the basic, basic things like your message. What is your message? What is going to set you apart from everybody else who is doing the same thing? That's one of the th essential things that we need to be concerned about. What's, your, what's unique about you? Why am I going to do business with you? Or why are you going to do business with me and not the next person? So rather than focusing on, on, on the, 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 I call them the accessories, like the business cards and such, which eventually will come. You will need those eventually, and you will need a website eventually because that your website is going to be your home on the internet. But those are not the first priority. They're not your top priority. There are other things that you, uh, that you need to focus on first. Does that make sense? All right. And the other point that I wanted to make, um, in addition to that, to the, the, the whole idea of packaging yourself, how do you appear on social media? You know, for a lot of us, we there are certain people that almost every time we look at their posts, they're ranting and raving about something. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be perceived as somebody who always has a grouse about something. Right, Gladys? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it, it's it's crazy. And it's like, you know, you can tell their personality by the way you don't know them personally, but just the way they appear. That's a part of your packaging. And these are the things that either draw people to us or repel, push people away from us. So as a result of my concern, and I want to give you an example too of why this is so concerning to me, because as I said, every day I talk with entrepreneurs. Thank you, Gladys. You say me either. Um, and they are telling me that the first thing they want to do is go out and buy business cards. They haven't made a penny yet. They haven't made a dollar, but they're buying business cards. They're buying um, marketing materials and all like that. So this confusion is what prompted me to put together a webinar that I'm going to be doing next week, Thursday, at 3 p.m. 
and thank you Jen those are valuable qualities exactly because those are the perception we want other people to have of us right um, logical valuable witty relevant exactly all of those things are things that we want people to say about us we want people to say we care um, not that we're argumentative and all like that. So I want to give you an example. Just yesterday, I spoke with a, a, a lady. She is just getting herself back into setting up a business again. And she said, one of the first things she said to me, you know, I really don't have any money for branding. No, no, no. I don't have it. I need money to start my business. I said, okay, good. You need money. Let's think about what you need money for. The first thing that she talked about was for branding. I said, what does branding mean to you? Her response was, well, business cards and so on. I said, look, you can go networking without business cards. How many times we come back from networking events? If either one of you, hi, Trevor, thanks for being here. Either one, if you've ever been to a networking event, how many times you come back with a ton of business cards that you never really do anything with? So my suggestion to her was rather than focusing on buying things that you don't have money for, Go to the networking events. Hi, Joy. Thanks for being here. This is Yvonne A. Jones. For anyone who doesn't know exactly who I am, I'm Yvonne A. Jones, Prosperity Coach to Women 50 and Wiser. I am on the Treasure Coast of Florida right now. I wanted to take it to the back of my home, but my wife, I would not allow it. So getting back to this point, I want my suggestion to her was that go to the networking events. You don't have to have a business card. Whoever you want to connect with, you get their business card, write, make a note of whatever it is you want to talk of something that you had in common and something you want to highlight. Then you get back in touch with them in, within 24 hours. Because spend all this money for, for um, business cards that you have never, you don't have a penny, you haven't made any money. It's pointless, right? Thank you, Gladys, for confirming that. And so all of these factors combined the bottom line is corporate branding or business branding is important, but it's not the first requirement when you're starting a business. Your require, your, what you need to focus on is branding yourself. Allow people to understand exactly who you are. What do you bring to the table? What makes you different? Why should they do business with you? Your unique selling proposition. Right, that is what, uh, who is your target market so that you can focus on attracting them to you. Get clear on your message. Ex understand your why. What is your big why, why you're doing your business? And convey this so that it builds the trust that we talked about earlier, um, about what Bob Berg said in this book, Endless Referrals. People will do business and refer people to people they know, like, and trust. So that should be our goal to get people to know us, like us, and trust us, then after we have established ourselves to a certain point, then we go and we get the corporate branding or the business branding, which is the business cards and the marketing materials and a nice fancy website. Because we really need to have a website that's our home on the internet. But you can start your business without a website while you go ahead and make sure that the essentials are done first, like branding yourself, personal branding, allow people to get an understanding of who you are so that they want to do business with you. I hope that makes sense. And I want to thank you so much for being here. And again, I'm going to mention that I will be doing a webinar next week, Thursday, the registration page, which I made sure to write down here. It's at my website, which is YvonneAJones.com, and it's spelled with a Y, Y-V-O-N-N-E-A-Jones.com forward slash Teleclass 2017. Thank you for the likes. Thank you, Joy. Thanks for the love. Teleclass 2017. So it's YvonneAJones.com forward slash Teleclass, T-E-L-E-C-L-A-S-S, 2017. It starts at 3 p.m. next week, Thursday. It's just 30 minutes. I'm keeping my webinar short and spicy. So I would love to see you there. And if you would go ahead and register, that would be wonderful. And we'll be all be together next week, Thursday. Thank you so much for being here. Again, this is my very first uh, Facebook Live. And I thank you so much, every one of you, for being here with me. Have a wonderful evening. Bye now.